should pick cool and good things, and not dumb and stupid things. Thank <laughs> you. 
Except for more like basketball and do nothing like soccer. Thank <laughs> you. 
ba 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 ba
I saw a video of this game, I was like, not quite sure what to make of it. It's really fun. Oh. And, in a, in a sense, we've kind of only scratched the surface. There's no set of modes. But oh, what the, the fart? arena modes, this is just one. Snatcher, Knuckle, Challenge, King of the Hill, Color the World, which is like, as you walk, the blocks change color, and whoever has the most colored blocks wins, and it's not a certain power. Grab the Gold, Ball Game, that, like, that's the one we were playing. Yeah. Capture the Horse. <laughs> Of the competitive stuff, we just played one of like eight or nine different choices. Yeah, I was gonna say he's all the top choices are eight and one of eight choices. Yeah, that's one of the choices. And like that's on top of the story mode, which is I played a little of it by myself, but then when you play co-op, like all the you know staying here to create a bridge and that stuff. Are the same, but those sorts of things aren't there when you play by yourself. And that's really cool. The whole like toss them up and help them up. So, I don't even know what the robotics feature is. So, I'm digging this a lot. I wish I could show you the intro to the first start the camp the story mode. It's hilarious. Um, so I mean you've got like 2D side scroller that's like really hard. And you've got the four player co-op. You know, not side scroller per se, I mean it is, but it's not like a, just flat 2D playing chess progression. 
and now they've got this. It's like, I like how all their games share a similar but original art style, but they're all totally different. And yeah, it's funny, you, I mean, it's not, it's not that funny, but I like that you brought up tricky, but there's no, like, severe um, punishment for death or, or fail state or anything. Right. It's like you just respawn and keep going. And, <clears throat> and, you know, it was one of those things, like, I noticed with, with each each one of their games that there is a certain level of depression and it's difficult as much as it was difficult to deal with groups and boards and people. But then you also only had so much life. Versus this, yeah. I do like the fact that your that aspect of of, of having to uh, capture lives or keep going is not there. Because one of this is kind of hard. So it's, yeah, it's hard, but it's not. You don't you don't get the same <coughs> points that you get by not dying. There's no like there's no app fail state. Like with Castle Crashers, if you ran out of health ran out of health potions, it would be like game over or like start from the beginning of the level. But with this, it's just like, well, you died, try again. It doesn't seem like it's a real, like, they just kick you back to the middle of the level. Yeah, don't you want us to talk about it? I mean, I, I mean, 
mean, I get NDAs and stuff, but yeah. Indie developers well, sort of having to fight for publicity. Yeah. Sure that, I mean, not that the project he knows me, but I'm also pretty sure that they have to fight to, to keep certain things like like set and subtle things. They're not stealing them. Is it going to be on? And anyway, it's a, it's that sort of simulation type of game. The day it came out, the people who made the game also put like a cracked version onto a, a popular torrent site. Mm -hmm. And the only difference was, at some point in this game, you know, two hours in or something, after you've spent all this time and effort building a virtual company and making these virtual games. Your in-game development studio would be faced with piracy. Ah, and like all these people were pirating your virtual game and you were like losing money and you eventually put your company out of business. And then people would like go to the forums Can I research, you know, DRM? Can I, how do I, how do I do this? And so it's like, they, it's, it's just this totally meta idea that they, they were making, they were showing people the pirate video games. What does, what happens to companies that make video games when you pirate the video games? Right. And like, the people that see the people who are going before, it's like, clicked with them yet. Like, <laughs> There's no way like they genuinely them. thought this was just a normal feature of the game and they didn't realize that that because they pirated. The, yeah, that the game had been modified and there was a special version that the people who made the game had put out on the, the pirate bay or whatever themselves. And so I, it's, just, it's a hilarious story. I don't know. I thought that was really Smart. That's a good statement to go. Yeah. Um, okay. This is one of those things with any creator that they kind of fear is, is having something pirated, so all the work that you put into it, I mean, just becomes wasted. Bye-bye.